6.45 in the morning, we're jumping in the car to drive down to London for the winter run. We're going to test out the Epson against the mile markers and see how accurate the GPS is. Okay, so we're just about ready to start the race. Uh, it's a winter run, which for London obviously means rain and not snow. So let's see how we get on. Up to the southwest corner of the square to go and take this up. Mile in. Nine minute miles, quite slow, it's very, very busy. Let's keep going. Halfway mark, doing well. Average speed is down to just over eight minute mile pace. One frustrating thing with the watch is I've got my mileage and my pace on one screen, but total time on another. So to see where you are for one thing or the next, you have to keep playing with the watch. I'm sure there's some settings that can change that, but I'm too tired to figure them out. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cathedral selfie, four miles in, pretty much matching the mile markers, although the race only has kilometre markers. Yeah kilometer markers so I can't change my settings now halfway through so we'll have to try again another race heart rate has come back on the monitor because it's been absent for a little while and it's about 170 beats per minute which I think means I'm about ready to die on we go. One mile left. Starting to push it a little bit harder. Start to eight minute miles. Not great by historical standards, but fair game. See you at the finish line. Well done, guys, all the way through the finish. Well done. And keep walking through if you can. Keep walking all the way through the finish line. There we go. Race over. 10k, 48 minutes, pretty much dead on. Got bad. Watch, heard it well in the rain. <coughs> Heart rate monitor stopped working for about four miles, which wasn't great. There you go, that's what it's all for. So I'd just like to share some of my observations of the watch post race. Um, of course, now I know that I can change a lot of these settings using the app. I've gone in and done that, but there is a lot of frustration that if you're stood in the street with no 3G signal, you can't really change a lot of these things using the watch. Um, one of my other big, big frustrations on the day was the heart rate dropping out. Uh, I didn't have a heart rate measure for probably four or five of the six miles that I was running. Um, again, the kilometers versus miles and the actual watch face design, these are things that I couldn't change unless I used the app or the desktop website. And this just wasn't going to happen unless I was sat at home with a really good Wi-Fi signal. Satellite location, again, another frustration of mine. It took literally five minutes to find the satellites because I was stood undercover, hiding from the rain. In order to find the satellite, I had to go and stand out in the pouring rain to get a signal. Hoping that I can keep testing, and now that I've got the settings where I want them to be, ahead of my next race, I'll find the watch to be a lot more convenient and a lot more functional.